What's up, YouTube? So, we have got Flash Season 3. The end of that was insane. Not only did we get the big reveal that the man in the Iron Mask is Earth 3 Jay Garrick, who in actuality is Henry Allen in looks and also personality. But he has no idea who Barry Allen really is or much of his connection to him. So, that is a pretty insane cliffhanger. Wait, we also had a Flashpoint style story where Barry, at the end, has enough, goes back in time because he's actually powerful enough now to stop the reverse Flash, Eobard Thorn, and finally save his mother. However, we saw at the end, when Barry from Season 1 went through, he smiled and then disappeared in the timeline. Which means that, well, the timeline has completely, possibly, changed forever. Just like in the Flashpoint story. So, basically, in Flashpoint, in the comics, Barry goes back, tries to save his mother, succeeds, and then what happens is a new timeline is created where he goes back to it, he has no powers, and, well, he's screwed. Because Wonder Woman and the Amazonians are facing off against Aquaman and the Atlanteans to actually have control of Earth. So then he actually comes across Batman, who is Thomas Wayne. Yes, that's right. Thomas Wayne was the one who survived the Crime Alley shooting, and Bruce died. Now, Thomas Wayne is an edgy kind of... He doesn't give a shit. He kills everyone he sees to take them on. And in fact, one of the opening pages when you see him, he throws someone off a building who is a villain. So we then have the similar kind of storyline of Barry going in an electric chair and trying to get his powers back and replicate the actual experiments. This is what we saw in season two in, a, in the last few episodes. So what's going to happen? So Kevin Smith, who directed the episode The Runaway Dinosaur and also made some of the best actual counterculture films of all time, has tweeted that, well, the Flashpoint paradox has begun. Now, you would take this with a grain of salt normally, but, well, he is involved with the production, and he's coming back to direct more episodes. So, what do we think of that? Well, I think that possibly we won't go the full actual Flashpoint paradox comic storyline with the whole war going on. Now, the war may be mentioned, but we won't see it. And then we'll probably have Barry go back to his time. His life will be normal. It will start just like the comics where he's got no powers and he has to get them back. Well, they have already done that, so we may... I would prefer that he comes back with his powers, but the whole landscape of Earth-1 is completely changed and he has to change it back. And then has to come to terms with the fact that he can't actually save his mother. Now what happened at the end of Flashpoint is that when he comes back and actually saves the Earth and has to let his mother sadly die, what happens is, well, New 52 happens. And, well, something has changed and... The timeline is not the same. There's a lot of differences between people. So what I'm what I think may be an issue is the fact that obviously there are crossovers between Arrow, Supergirl and Legends of Tomorrow. Now this crossover could be them aiming to try and fix the timeline, which would be pretty sweet to see and I'll be very excited to see that. And we also know that Captain Cold is now out of Legends of Tomorrow because he got blown up by the device that 
the Time Masters use to predict a timeline. So he could play the kind of Pandora role in U52, or he could be the one who to work out that, wait, time's not actually how it should be. And maybe he makes contact with Barry Allen and tells him that, well, time is kind of getting screwed up here. So if you enjoyed that episode of me talking, <laughs> drop a like and a subscribe. I'll be back soon. Goodbye.